One of the more new and exciting advances uh, that's been developed in the last four to five years is the ability to perform uh, knee replacement with robotic technology. Now it's a combination of what we refer to as computer navigation combined with robotic assistance. What that means is, and, and computer navigation I've been involved with for almost 20 years now, but that allows the uh, ability to pre-plan the surgery on the computer, literally creating a 3D image of not only just the knee but the entire leg so that I can pre-evaluate the pathologic or arthritic condition. This computer navigation then has allowed for the ability to perform the surgery on the computer and then to uh, execute that uh, in the operating room. At first this was designed so that the pre-planning was done outside of the operating room. But now the technology is advanced. I create this 3D image interoperatively, feeding information from the patient to the computer through infrared technology. The computer now allows me to pre-plan the surgery, but what's changed now and what's distinctly different is a very unique method of surgery where we now have the ability to tension the ligaments and assess the pre-surgical ligament balance or imbalance. Many times with an arthritic knee, the patient will either be bowed legged or knock knee so one ligament on one side will be tighter than the other and this ligament imbalance is what's important in restoring normal knee movement. This ligament tensing uh, assessment uh, is done interoperatively. I can then pre-plan the surgery to rebalance the knee using objective measurements to literally fine-tune the position of the implant within a half a millimeter from one side to the other and a half a degree in rotation. This very precise positioning of the implant is what's allowed for the ability to restore that ligament balance and stability, and therefore normal knee ligament movement. The robotic assistant is, allows me to execute this surgery and to be able to evaluate each cut I make to make certain that we've achieved the goal and, and achieve that balance at the end of the procedure. We've just recently published on this data uh, which has shown significant improvement in patient outcomes and the accuracy uh, of this procedure and the predictability to improve patient outcomes significantly.